Okay, so we've already run over the basics of how this is going to work. So let's dive straight in and actually start to do this. So we've already looked at choosing a file and submitting a file. We know that we've got our image ready to go. Let's go ahead and process it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of init.php. We don't need that anymore. And here is where we're going to do the processing. So within here, let's go ahead and um, check whether the form's been submitted and this file uh, or this profile, let's go uh, here, this profile field is uh, set. So if is set is equal to true, what is set? Well, it will be dollar underscore files. And in here, it will be the file name, profile. Now, if it is set, I'm just going to echo OK. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this. So we refresh. We click Submit, OK. We've not got any file, but it's still set. So we need to do some further validation to uh, make sure that the file has actually been chosen. Uh, regardless of whether we choose a file, we get this OK message come up, which is absolutely fine. So here, we can just quickly validate this. So we're going to say if, um, in fact, let's do this a slightly different way. Let's go ahead and, no, we, we need to do that. So if dollar underscore files profile, and here we can choose the name, so the name of the file. And what we can do is say empty is equal to true. If it's equal to true, we'll go ahead and just echo out, please choose a file. Otherwise, we want to continue and we want to validate the extension, things like that. So let's just go ahead and check this out. We'll just say OK. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. Please choose a file. So I choose a file, click Submit, and it's OK. So we validated that part, and now we need to validate the file extension to make sure the user's uploading a file that we allow. So I'm going to create a, ver um, a variable called allowed, and this is going to be an array of extensions that we're going to allow. So uh, this is going to be JPEG. JPEG, GIF, and PNG. So we know that we've uh, got this uh, allowed array, but how are we going to compare this with the user's choice? Well, since the file is not uh, the file chosen is not empty, i.e., the user has picked a file, we can now start to create variables of the properties of this file. So, for example, file name, name. Let's just pull this down slightly. So file name is equal to, well, we've already established that this gets the file name. So we can just go ahead and copy that down there. Uh, we've also got file um, temp. I'll just call it temp. Now what this basically is, is it's where the file is temporarily stored. So in this case, it's TMP name as the, um, as the array. Uh, value if you like. Now we do have a file size as well that's just like size in there. Uh, I'm not going to be doing this but you can go ahead and uh, try yourself add a comparison in there of the file size if you want a specific file size or if you want this limited. I'm going to assume here unlimited so the user can pick you know whatever file size they want but it's advisable to go ahead and limit the file size uh, but I'm going to leave that out here. So we've got the file name, the file temporary location. What we can now do is extract the file uh, extension from the file name. So just underneath file name, I'm going to say file ext n. Now this is going to be equal to something. Well, file name contains the extension at the end. So if we upload the file that I um, was looking at earlier, beginner.png, this would be beginner.png. Now if I uh, exploded this uh, by a full stop it would give me two um, it would give me two elements beginner and PNG now this might be hard to understand so I'll go ahead and do this like this I'll explode by a full stop and I want to explode file name now what's this done well let's go ahead and print this out print R in fact this will just show us the contents of the array that's been generated by the explode function. So I'm going to print out file extn. So let's go ahead and pick a valid file. 
uh, begin it up png submit now we've got an array here the first element the zeroth element is beginner the first element is png or the second element whichever way you look at it so now we know that this is a png file and it'll work the same for jpegs and anything like that so we can access this element the only problem here is we never know that this we, we well we, we, we can assume that it's a something dot something file but for example if I was to change this to beginner um, dot image like that and I was to upload that we've now got three elements to the array and the last one's PNG so we never know what element this is um, so basically we're, we're trying to extract the extension that's the idea of this here so what can we do to this? Well, we can use um, a function called end. What this will do is it will take the last element of the array. We already know what the first element of an array is, it's zero, but the last element's you know, always gonna be the unknown. It could be anything, because an array, you know, it's like a stack, it'll add onto it. So we've got end here. So now what we can do is just echo file extn, oops, and this will give us um, the file extension. So choose file, choose this, regardless of how many dots in it, and we've got PNG here. Now we've got another problem, uh, and that other problem is, let me just go ahead and open up this image, or not open it up, but rename it. Um, oh, in actual fact, I don't think I can do this just because of the way that my operating system set up. Anyway, I'll, I'll explain. Um, some files have a capitalized file extension which is very annoying because when we're comparing it against these options here you know we could be comparing something with capitals so I'm gonna say str to lower and since end has generated a string we're just basically converting a string to lowercase so even though file extension could be uppercase it'll always end up as lowercase and therefore it will always match something in here or always be able to be compared properly anyway let's move on so I'm going to create an if statement here now we're checking if this file extension is allowed and we're going to use the in array function if this is equal to true that means we are doing something right so it is in the array so I'm going to check um, file extn and I want to check in the second parameter if that is in allowed if it is, we can go ahead and upload file. Otherwise, we want to, I'm just gonna output a small error message. So echo uh, incorrect file type. And then we could say, we could either loop through this array and output the ones that are allowed. So we could do this allowed. And then we could say for each allowed as ext echo ext in fact there's a better way to do this we could echo implode and we want to implode by a comma and a space and we are choosing allowed there we go so what this will do is if we were to choose a file like activate.php incorrect file type allowed colon jpeg comma jpeg comma gif comma png comma and it's just pop a space in there so basically implode's done the opposite of explode and it's just sort of joined the uh, elements of the array with a comma and then a space afterwards so it now looks like that okay perfect so if we choose a correct file it does nothing at the moment because at the moment we've just got a comment here but this is going to actually upload the file Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to create a function that's going to handle this. And it's just going to be called something like change or, or upload user profile or something like that. I'm just going to call it user profile image. And this is going to change it. Uh, in fact, let's say change profile image. Now we need to work out what, what parameters we need to pass through to this. Uh, the first one's going to be the user ID. We'll modify this, this, these variables just a moment. We'll just map this out here for a, a second. So we've got user ID. We also need to pass um, the um, file's temporary location. And that's it. And then we can just store this new file. So I'm going to say file temp. So we've already got a temporary location for the file. 
and this is being passed through to this change profile image. The user ID we know comes from session user ID, unless I'm not sure if we created a variable for this. It's going to core and init. And yes, we've got session user ID. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we'll just paste that into there. So we are passing the user's ID, which is helpful because we need to update this for a unique user. We're passing the temporary location of the file through. We can go ahead and upload this file and then we can upload, or sorry, insert or update this user's um, row in the table and then uh, point that to that file location. So relatively straightforward. In users.php in the next part of the tutorial, we are going to be creating this function and that's it just uploading the profile picture, the user has a profile picture.